Rothman Tech Tips. I'm here with Stephen Dorchek with Cassandra. Stephen, thanks for coming on the program today. No problem, Matt. How are you um, doing? Good, good. Uh, Stephen's going to talk to us today about Microsoft Link. I'm uh, very excited to, to learn more about this solution. It's uh, Microsoft's, you know, meeting, chatting, great solution. I want to learn more about it. And um, it's also part of Microsoft's Office 365 uh, suite. So please, Stephen, talk to us a little bit about Microsoft Link. Hey, no problem. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, Microsoft Link's awesome. We've been using it in our company here for the last uh, three or four years uh, since it's basically been released as part of Office 365. Uh, we also use it uh, from an enterprise, enterprise voice perspective as well. So again, at, at its core, you know, it, it's founded on the principles of instant messaging and presence. So for those of you back that used to do AOL instant messaging, um, that's kind of where it got its start, just being able to text back and forth between your friends, your, your company workers, uh, and keep tabs on people that way. Um, from then, you know, Skype came out and was a big offering. Uh, which Microsoft has now purchased, uh, and that was really great for kind of point-to-point, -point, uh, computer-to-computer conversations uh, straight over the straight over the computer. So if you were in the military and you're overseas, it's a great solution to be able to just call someone, see them, and talk to them uh, through the computer. And then Link kind of expanded upon that to do things like you just talked about, uh, doing video meetings, video conferences. You don't necessarily have to be on. Uh, on on site anymore. You can just go. You can spin up a, a link meeting, and you can be there virtually. It's fantastic. And then um, and then kind of the, the the biggest piece of this all is that you can actually replace your entire phone system with Microsoft Link. So you can get dial tone directly to your computer uh, with a soft phone and make calls to any uh, any number that's out there. So uh, lots of great things that you can do with with Link uh, out there in, in the industry. Well, I definitely used AOL Instant Messenger way back when, so I have some fond memories of that. But So if, if I'm hearing you correctly, we can use this as an Instant Messenger piece. We can use it as a Skype-type video chat. And then you also mentioned screen sharing, uh, being able to share screens, doing presentations. And then last but not least, I heard something about um, enterprise business phone systems. I don't know if anyone knows this out there. That was my first job at a college was selling PBXs, key systems, all phone systems. So from what I'm hearing, Link has a tremendous amount of functionality. Absolutely correct. Yeah, they've taken a lot of different pieces, put them all together into one solution. And uh, and made it out there available to for the world, you know. And Microsoft, with it, with uh, like it normally does, is kind of put a solution out there that's a little bit easier to uh, work with than some of the other existing solutions. And and the cost point is typically a little bit less uh, less expensive than some of those competitors. Okay, so in the past, I've used products like a GoToMeeting or a Join.me. Is um, Link a similar solution? Is it a better solution? Do they have some of the similar functionality? I, I think the nice thing about Link is that it does all of those things that we talked about before, right? So, you know, GoToMeeting might be a little bit more limited in terms of just doing the video conferencing. Uh, 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 AOL's instant messaging piece does just the instant messaging uh, and some of the, the peer to peer. Uh, uh, audio stuff where Link has that full spectrum of capabilities. So to me, it's the fact that it's all kind of bundled up into one solution that, that creates the first advantage. Um, some of the other major advantages I see with the Link product is, uh, is also it's software-based. Um, it's not, you know, require that PBX on-prem. So because it's software-based, it integrates very seamlessly with multiple third-party uh, vendor. So, for example, uh, I'm using a Bluetooth. I can see you got a headset on as well. It doesn't matter if it's Plantronics. It doesn't matter if it's Jabra, one of the other vendors. It works well with Link. Uh, if you want to do a video conferencing or a room center solution, you can use you can use Smart. You can use Polycom. Doesn't matter to Link. Um, you know, some of the other uh, you know more complex solutions might include session border controllers. There's multiple vendors out there that does that. So again, the idea that that it really is a platform um, that you can actually build workflow and different solutions on top of, as well as used for enterprise voice, as well as used for the video conferencing, the, 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 the instant messaging presence, and the, it all kind of happens in that one single solution is really where, where the value comes out in Link. So you mentioned it's a software-based solution, so it's, it, you just install it in your servers, in your data center, whatever it is, and next thing you know with some configuration, you are running an enterprise-wide phone system. 
That's correct, and, and I don't want to oversimplify the install and configuration process. I mean, it does take some knowledge and some aptitude to be able to do that correctly, but effectively, yes, it's software you install on your servers, uh, you spin it up, you create dial plans if you're doing the enterprise voice piece, and then you can actually get to a point where you're, where you're dialing and, and sending and receiving phone calls just like you would from a regular phone system. That's great. I mean, I know I've sat in on numerous link uh, calls where we're, you know, just kind of doing the conference calling. We've taken it like what we're doing now. Um, this is over link, everyone, just so you know. So doing the video chat, similar to, say, a Skype call or whatever it might be. And then if you keep going with that footprint as far as screen sharing and then also enterprise um, phone systems, I mean, this sounds like a really robust product. It sounds like Microsoft kind of hit it out the park here. Yeah. And, um you I was going to say, yeah, we, I mean, we use it. We use it every day in the company, and and all of our all of our our partners do as well. A couple of the nice things uh, that I haven't mentioned yet are are there's this concept of federation, which means that I can actually connect through Link to other partners and uh, other companies. So I can literally call people directly from Microsoft on Link. I can see their I can see their persona inside my Link. Um, so. Uh, other customers of ours that we have too. So if we're supporting them via a help desk solution, um, again, I'm talking about what you did before, I can see that they're green, I can see they're online, and I can, uh, and I can connect to them directly through Link that way. And, uh, you know, it, it really does make a lot of sense for people that are trying to communicate with partners and or customers uh, in a, and again, cost-effective way. It's, it's, it's really, really fantastic that way. And, uh, and the fact that, it, that part of it is built in Office 365, so if you're looking for a very quick and easy, simple barrier to entry, you can spin up that, that link online piece through Office 365, um, and you can get started literally in hours uh, to a point where you can use link uh, effectively inside your organization. Well, that's great, Stephen. I mean, Office 365 is a great solution. A lot of small to mid-sized organizations are moving in that direction. So the fact that they can use Link and and start you know leveraging some of that functionality is is really great to hear. So, Stephen, thank you for educating us on Link. I know I learned something. I hope my audience did. Uh, before I let you go, we do the I don't cook segment segment of my video blog. Now you you're with Ascendra. You guys are located in the Herndon, Reston, Virginia area. The kind of little tech corridor here in the, the DMV, the Washington, D.C., Virginia area. Why don't you give, uh, give us a great restaurant recommendation for that area? Uh, sure, no problem. So well, while Reston's not quite the social hotspot that D.C. is these days, um, there is a little location uh, called the Reston Town Center, which is pretty popular out our way. And, if you're uh, in the tech industry, you've been to a happy hour at the Reston <laughs> Town Center. Most certainly, most certainly, right behind the, uh, the Microsoft headquarters there in Reston. Uh, at the MTC over there, but uh, there's a place in there called the uh, the counter, and uh, it's a burger joint. And if there's such thing as a healthier burger, the counter actually has it. So they do uh, a lot of organic and grass-fed meat. So in this today's health-conscious world, uh, the counter is doing a real great job of putting together some really, really good hamburgers um, and making it as healthy as possible. Well, everyone in the Rolf and Tech Tip world know that I love hamburgers. I, <laughs> I, I can eat them every day. Uh, I don't know if my heart would like that, but this sounds like a great place. It was called The Counter. It's in Reston Town Center. They have some organic grass-fed meat. What is your go-to burger? Oh, no doubt, man. They have an organic bison. Get that served on the pretzel roll. Oof. Me personally, I like mine a little spicy. They'll do pepper jack cheese. They'll do jalapenos. They'll do all kinds of other good toppings, plus a bunch of dipping sauces for your for your hand cut fries and uh, you know quite frankly if you want to do that uh, with a beer or with a milkshake however you like it to wash it down wow it works. that just sounds amazing so a bison organic bison burger on a pretzel roll with a beer that that's that's awesome we're doing it Stephen I'm meeting you out there and and we're gonna hit the counter at Reston Town Center anytime you're ready so am I man all right Stephen thanks for coming on the program this is Rothman Tech Tips have a good day